Hey guys, so today I'm actually going to go ahead and teach you how to do a cartwheel. So the first step to do a cartwheel is you have to make sure that you're fully stretched. That includes your legs, your arms, and everything in between. So let's go ahead and get started. First what we're going to do is we're going to split our legs in this V shape and we're going to go ahead and reach down all the way to the ground. What this will do is it'll help to stretch this back part right here and also help to start stretching your back because you're going to need your back to be stretched when you do your cartwheel. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to keep this and go as far down as you possibly can and you're going to hold that for 15 seconds. After you do that stretch, then you'll go ahead and reach to each of the different sides. First I'm going to start with my, leg, my left leg and I'm going to go there and do that for 15 seconds. After that one feels stretched and make sure that if he doesn't feel fully stretched you can go ahead and do that a bit more but it may be a stretch by the rest of these stretches too so make sure to make sure that you're fully stretched because otherwise you can go ahead and tear something after you stretch your legs upwards you can also stretch your arms in this position too or you can stretch your arms after you go ahead and sit down but first I'm gonna stretch my arms so now what I like to do is I do a stretch that goes across like this and this helps to really pull this muscle right here to make sure it's fully elongated outwards now for some people these types of stretches may be a bit more uncomfortable and if they are uncomfortable for you make sure that you just don't do any of the stretches that are too uncomfortable and just try to accommodate for any things that are possibly like Ill, uh, injuries or anything else so then you do a stretch back here and this will also help to stretch this separate section of your arm and once that feels fully stretched give or take around 15 seconds or so make sure not to push yourself too hard but make then you'll go ahead and stretch on the ground so i like to go into this sitting position and also you want to make sure you have comfortable pants i just have my jeans on right now but um another instance is you can have shorts yoga pants anything like that so then you can go ahead and put your one of your legs i right now i have my left leg that i'm stretching and you can take that leg your right leg and Put it into a triangle formation where your foot is touching the inside of your thigh here to allow you to get that really deep stretch on the inner side of your leg here and then after you stretch that one you're just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing but on the other leg okay. now once that feels fully stretched then there is a stretch you can do like this where you put this forwards and you go back now this is the beginning formation for beginning splits some people go ahead and do it but this one is just so it stretches this up part of your thigh here and don't go too far down and you don't want to go through and cause yourself any injury or anything like that because that'll actually make it a lot more difficult to do the cartwheel go ahead and stretch the other leg this also helps to stretch your hip muscle as well and this can be seen in many things like yoga So now once you feel fully stretched and good, now we're gonna go ahead and start our cartwheel. So in order to start a cartwheel, what you're going to wanna do is go on the on the side that is your dominant side. For me, I am right-handed, but I typically do left-handed cartwheels. This means my cartwheel starts like this, and this of my right hand comes down, and when they both touch the ground, you make a short push-up motion, where you go like this, you go down, you push up, against the ground as you hit it to allow you to push yourself off and give yourself a bit more momentum to get into the upright position again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one quick cartwheel and please bear with me, it might be a little bit flimsy. I haven't done one in a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. So I go like this, I lead with my leading leg and my leading arm. I go down, I go like that, I push off and you go up again. So now with the cartwheel, what you'll always wanna make sure that you do is stretch or, or point your toes, my bad. You're gonna wanna point your toes to make it look pretty, right? So then this helps to elongate all of your all of your legs, all of your arms and everything like that. When you go down into your cartwheel, make sure not to get a bit flustered. Sometimes a bit of blood rushes to your head, right? Because you are upside down. So don't get flustered and just know you got this. And try to be as straight as you possibly can because this will really help to make sure that your back is okay. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate another one. Go up, go down, and you're back up. So now you can actually end up making this a bit prettier. The cartwheel is really great to help you elongate all of your things, and it also is the starting point to do a round off, okay? 
So we'll do one more cartwheel here. Down. And up. <laughs> okay, so then is the next step would be a round off. Now what a round off does is it's essentially just like a cartwheel. But instead of going sideways, you end up going and facing this way and then you face that way when you're finished, okay? So if I do a round off, I go. And then how you do that is instead of keeping your legs spread out and far apart, instead you lead, you go down, do the exact same for beginning formation of your cartwheel. But instead at the end, you snap your two legs together once they reach the top, right? So imagine this is the ground right here. I'm holding onto the ground, right? My legs are like this. Once I reach the top, I snap them together, which forces my body to turn. Once my body turns, I'm in the air, and then it forces me to come back down to here, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that one more time. So, cartwheel, or sorry, round off. I start this way, I go down, snap, and this way. That was a bit flimsy, my bad, but let me try that one more time. Okay, so, round off. And just like that. Now, if you're doing cheerleading or some other type of dance or something like that, what you can do with these ones, you ha may have running cartwheels or running run off, my bad, where you will start off and you'll go quickly. And once you run closer, the momentum will help it to be a bit smoother. So since these are standing round offs, they're a bit flimsy, they're a bit bad, right? You don't have as much momentum. You have to really force your body to use this muscle, okay? But if you're using running round offs, you end up having the more momentum to make it a bit cleaner. So, like so, okay? Now, on the end of these running ones, what you can also do is you can do your round off and follow it up with a jump. Now, many different types of jumps that are really good for round offs are, you have the hurdler jump, you have the, uh, I completely don't believe, remember exactly what it is, but your legs are separated and you have your arms down. And there's also the pike jump, okay? I typically do the one where my legs are separated and I go down, but I don't exactly remember the name of it right now. Uh, I'll put it down in the description below uh, and I'll look it up later. But what this one is, is you start off, you do a round, you do running, you use that extra momentum. So you go like this, you go down, and when you land, you have your, your legs bent like this, right? And you use that extra momentum to swing your arms up and hit your jump, okay? So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, I'm gonna use that momentum, ready? Like so. Now that one's a bit bad. I haven't done it in a while, I apologize for that. But you kind of get the idea. All right, so I hope that I was able to help you a bit on how to go through and do a cartwheel, as well as how to take that cartwheel, move that into a round off, and how to go from there. Awesome, thanks so much, and I hope you guys have a great day.